Hello, so you've just bought a sewing machine in an automatic drop-down cabinet like that. This is how you remove the head from the cabinet to do to travel first. It's um, always smart to try and remove the head from a cabinet when you're going any distance. Uh, the head is so heavy uh, it's good to separate them to make carrying easier. Also, there is, if there's any slight damage to the cabinet, uh, having the head in while it's travelling can cause extra damage. If there's a belt, lift the head up slightly and just slip it off, like so. There will be a screw or some other fasting measure at the front of the machine. Sometimes there's a lever that hooks into a plate underneath. In the case of most Beverfelds, it is a screw like that. Put that to one side. Lift up the head. Now, you won't be able to see here, but under there, just above where the screw pin, um, hinge pins go into the machine, there's a little grub screw. Now I've already loosened these off. Uh, there's technically no reason why, uh, when there's a screw at the front, that you need to have those grub screws tightened up on, on a machine because between the pins and that screw, there's nowhere for the machine to move. So just assume I'm done and lift out. And it's easy as that. The machine heads themselves um, weigh a lot. So if you're not very strong, possibly find somebody who's a bit stronger. Uh, they can weigh as much, if not more, than the cabinets. Weberfeld cabinets are particularly heavy, so even without the machine, um, they're quite a weight to carry around.